the majority of the elements on the periodic table are, well, on the one hand, maybe you should just know that most of the metals on Earth, um, I'm sorry, most of the elements on the Earth are metals. But let's say if you don't know that, as you can see, most of the elements from your book, this is your book, you should have your book with you, most of the elements in our universe are metals. Most of the elements on the periodic chart are metals. They're all the ones in blue. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Mendeleev arranged the elements on his periodic chart, on his periodic table, I'm sorry, by, by what? By mass, okay? And yet the modern periodic table is arranged by atomic number. So let's go through our list. Option density. Number, pro no, no. Increasing atomic mass, increasing atomic number, correct. Mendeleev was, a, was increasing atomic mass, and then the modern chart, increasing atomic number. You know, some things you just have to know. You have to know that the horizontal rows in the periodic table, those horizontal rows are called periods, and the vertical columns on the periodic table, they're called families or groups. Okay, so in the first part, you're looking for something that is period, and there is only one of them. Now we're hoping that the second answer is group, and it is. Periods go across, groups go up and down. Now, you can take a look at, at the periodic chart, and I'm going to take you back there in just a second. But how many periods are there on the periodic table? Well, let's remember that there are seven, but I'm going to take you back there. And here's the periodic chart table, the periodic chart um, in your book. And if, if you count down the left-hand side, and I think I have some ability to mark this, but, but this is period one, this is period two, this is period three, this is period four, five, six, and seven. So, so you say, okay, but how about these guys down here? Well, these guys down here, actually, these guys fit really up in here. So there are seven periods on our periodic chart. All right, now question number five was, how many electron shells do atoms in period two have? So there's no looking at the periodic table. You just have to know, so write this down if you need to, that there are the same number of shells as there are the number of the periods. So just, just 20 seconds ago, we went through and we counted each of those periods. And when I said this is period one, there is one shell or one orbit. When I said, hey, this is, this is uh, period number two, that's two shells or two orbits. Write that down. When I said this is period three, there were three period, there are three orbits or three shells. So how many electron shells do atoms in period two have? Two. Okay? Periods equal number of shells. You just have to know that. Now, number six, elements in the same group or family. So the elements going down a column of the periodic table are, are similar in what way? Well, here you go. They have the same number of valence electrons. Okay? Same number of valence electrons. So when we go back to the periodic chart, all of these atoms in group two have two valence electrons. Over here, seven valence electrons. Six valence electrons. They're in the same group or family. Eight valence electrons, or some scientists would say zero. Over here, one valence electron, two valence electrons, three valence electrons, four, five, six, seven, and eight valence electrons. Now, and number seven is, which of the following families is inert or non-reactive? Well, you know, you could look at the periodic chart, and you might look for some clues like, you know, inert, uh, inert gases or noble gases. But, but the answer is, it's period eight, I'm sorry, it's family eight, and it's the noble gases. I'm sorry, eight valence electrons, and they're called noble gases. So non-reactive, inert, noble gases all mean the same thing. 
and they're way over on the right hand side. 